Down by the station, very early in the morning, a train journey is about to start. From Cairns on the far north coast of Queensland, it's going to a different country, a country called Savannahland. Shortly, we will be arriving in Coranda. I'll just uh, let you know that uh, if you want to make money on a bet, uh, Coranda is the most northern railway station in Queensland Rail. And then we'll be here for seven or eight minutes. Advantage of those seven or eight minutes to get off and have a look at the ferns and gardens. And here we are. This is the bridge over the Barren River at Baibura. Pat is about to show us Australia's shortest gorge and shortest telegraph post. He wouldn't read about it, or would you? Now we're coming on to a place called uh, Cape Horn Gorge. Now it's one of the shortest gorges in Australia, I think. And also as we go through Cape Horn Gorge, if you look down to your right, you'll see one of the shortest telegraph posts in uh, Australia. No, and uh, it uh, featured in, uh, in the uh, uh, Australasian, the, post, years uh, Australasian post years ago. All right, you would read about it. All right, you would read about it. The line that used to go over to Mount Garnet was one of the hardest lines to work out of any line in, in uh, Queensland Rail. Travelling by road, you can see how difficult it must have been to build this line. And how scenic a ride this would be for train buffs if it still operated. Which of course it doesn't. A little about Chiligo. And the, and uh, the line, uh, the has, line closed has closed there. there. Now, now, I've worked that I've line. Worked that line. So it was it's a fantastic, fantastic job across there. there. It was good. We, it was good. Work, we used to work, uh, cattle, work cattle, trains, cattle trains, freight trains, freight and trains, and also trains later on in later years. Later years the uh, the uh, marble trains. Chiligo should have a rail line still operating. It's famous for its name, which comes from a sea shanty refrain, Ikey Pikey Crikey Chiligo Wallabadori, and it's famous for its caves. Great cliffs of limestone rise 50 metres above the plain. Within these weird outcrops there are numerous caves, carved by erosion into strange formations, with richly coloured stalagmites and stalactites. This is the western edge of the Great Dividing Range, and we're in the true savannah land, the tropical plains where the rivers run further west into the Gulf of Carpentaria. We're not all that far out of Bullock Creek, where we'll be having our morning tea. Wait a minute or two while Pat and I set up the cafe. Now the cafe at Bullock Creek, we have bottomless tea and coffee, Endless fruit cake and biscuits. A coach tour takes the travellers to Cobbold Gorge. Here there are guided tours into the sandstone gorge. This is a truly gorgeous gorge. It's one of the real surprises and real rewards of the Savannahlander trip. This is the Andara Volcanic National Park. There's overnight accommodation in railway carriages, which is appropriate for travellers on the Savannah Lander. There are tours of the lava tubes by Savannah guides, and they boil the billy for an Aussie bush breakfast, which is also very much in keeping with the spirit of the Savannah Lander journey. Now this creek flows all the year round, and I may endeavour to prove to you that there are certain species of edible fish in the Fossil Brook Creek. Some things happen, some things don't. I don't think we're getting a bite today. Those fish are one of the things that didn't happen. Meanwhile the train moves on and then it moves back to let the travellers get a photo. For the travellers, especially the overseas travellers, it's been a very Aussie experience, a very Queensland experience. They've been allowed to do most things except drive the train, and they've been to Savannah land, and places that most of us are yet to see. So let us toast before we part, 
Those who travel, stout of heart, drunk or sober, rain or shine, on a Queensland railway line.